It's Weenie Wheels Wednesday. Let's check out what I picked up this last couple of weeks. Let's go. Okay, it's getting too much. Just like all of my toy collecting, I am accumulating too much. I'm getting a little too confused also because of the sporadic distribution of Hot Wheels and Matchbox in Canada. It's, I guess it might have to do with me not going to the store as much recently and not seeing what's available, but I obviously did pick up some, but I think I have to even be more selective of what I choose. I think I also paid a bit more for these because I think I bought them at mostly at Dollarama and I'm not I don't even believe I don't even know what's going on here because I don't it's been so long since I found a matchbox specifically that I don't know if I even have these but when I'm looking at the matchbox that I have is this all that I've gotten for 2023 so far it seems like I'm missing a sports car I've checked my Instagram do follow me on Instagram, and I do have to update that better. This, I believe, is the last post I made, and that's 2022 cars that I have. I do like to do that, so I have some reference point. And then I also, on my Instagram, so I always have it ready when I'm at the store, I like to copy over um, the chases and recently i've been also taking screenshots from the best source for matchbox is ministry of diecast by the way on youtube definitely follow because they are i i think they must be in malaysia and they get to see the cars before anybody does i guess that's how that works out but i keep so i know what treasure hunts to look for and that also and that brings me to before I go back into what I picked up in Matchbox, this one, because the last one for me to get in this foodie series, and I think if I was going to choose a series, my favorite series of this year, at least so far, it would be this foodie series. And you know what? It's probably 100% based on this. I mean, I love a food truck van. I don't know why. I guess the deco on them is always really cool and cute and awesome. And they're out of scale and stuff too, which is another thing that I don't like. I never collected a cupcake car before, but I started with this one made me... Anyway, this is the reason that I collect uh, this series because I loved this dessert drifter is what they call it and uh, it's just it's got a line on it and anyway i'm bringing this up now because there's a new one they had a new color and i don't have uh, the number five because number five is a treasure hunt and hopefully i'll find it and i don't even remember what it is right now i think there's a recolor of another one of these maybe uh, the muffin there's a recolor oh it's a donut I do remember that it's a donut because I want to show my whole entire donut collection, which I have completed, except I didn't really complete it because in Canada we don't have things like Xamex all the time and we don't have the red line from Target and stuff. But besides all of those very specific store, dollar store generals, what are they called? Dollar general. They also have... Uh, cars made especially for them and we don't have those stores in Canada so I can't really get them so completed donut series I'm, I don't even have a donut here to show you but I do have all of the donuts that were available in Canada to get this is another theme of why this is such a difficult video is because Canada has not been getting the cars Canada is gets maybe one case sometimes of moving parts and then I never see you know, I'm lucky to see one case is what I'm saying anyway I'm missing the fifth and final and I think that there's an at least one other recolor in this series before I complete it I'm also still waiting for the mega blocks the mega constructs car or the mega brand car 
um, two redecos of that, and I did not see that in this latest wave. I don't even know what wave this is. This could be the the donut chase treasure hunt series. I do have to update on I only did the first five because you can only fit 10 pictures on an Instagram so I have to because now we're getting we're skipping series or at least I haven't found them or seen them but these are the ones that I chose from the Dollarama when I found this case I had to get this one because it's branded Hot Wheels so that's why I picked up that one love it uh, this GMC Hummer is just it's a big hunky chunky car and it's GP so love it and then the wagon i like in red so i had to get it in blue this is kind of a diorama cute toy car to put in one six scale diorama it's a nice wagon to have i like that does it have movable parts oh it shows you putting a lego figure in it they like to do that and then this one i wasn't going to get but it looks so much i have I love the zinc, the unpainted cars so much. This one has a dot on it, but so do, so do those keychains that I collect. You know, I have that big jar of keychains, which I was going to bring out and open up all of my metallic cars that I got. But I got this one, and I also got it because El Segundo is where Mattel is. Unless that's not El Segundo, and I'm... Just, I mean... Could that be anything else? I don't know. Um, that is where Mattel head office is. They have a store there. I've been there. I love it there. Uh, favorite toy company in the world. So that is what convinced me to get this. It's a little too modern sporty for me, but it is unpainted and it was called El Segundo and it's a coupe. And yeah, I'm probably going to open those together. That brings me to this awesome convertible uh, Volkswagen um, Morris 1956. Look at this beauty. It looks like it looks like a bug, but it's a Morris Minor. And I love this car, and it has a movable parts, and I just chose one of them. And then I found this one, and I don't understand what's going on. This could have been a return from somebody, maybe. What's the date on this? No, it says 2022 on the back of this. This is 2022. Cards are different on the back. I just found this one in the store, and I said I might as well get that one, too, because I like it. I assumed it was from the same series, but it's not. It does look older because it doesn't have the 70 written on it and why is it in a different color the this must this is the new this has to be the new one and this is the old one i did check which i'll show you i brought out all of my movable parts because i've been stopping myself from buying the movable parts ones because they're older and this something's going on weird with the matchbox cases they're putting they never did this before they were all like a new selection each case assortment and now i think I, I can't even confirm this. Nobody, yeah, I have to really go online and watch some videos. But I think that they are reissuing cars from the cases before, and they never used to do that, like Matt, like Hot Wheels does. Hot Wheels always just adds a few cars to the new mix, and then it takes out a few cars, and then there are, there are always repeats. But Matchbox wasn't doing that. In recent years, anyway. And so now it's even more confusing. When I find a case, I can't just buy the whole case. And then I don't know what I have. And this is what I chose from the cases that I found this week. And I always get the retro week cars. So I got this 1966 Dodge. There's a bit more deco on that. Again, that's kind of a unpainted metallic one. We got this Ranchero, so nice truck car, and then we've got this AMC Eagle with the wood panel doors, very vintagey, great 1980, and then we got a swept side, like a pickup, an old-fashioned pickup. But what is with the um? The deco on it even though it is a minimal deco so 
Yeah, I love that. And then again, a food truck, or this time it is an Uncle Ebb's Island Barbecue. It is a food truck. So I don't know what it is about food trucks. I always have to get them. And that's everything that I picked up. What? I, oh, yeah, I also have a whole box of these. That's right. I have to make sure that I don't have this. Or, I don't know. Yeah, I do have a whole box of movable parts. Ones that I think I told myself I wasn't going to open. But I think that these ones are... These are double or triple. What is up with that? Okay, I've got three of those for some reason. I think I got these dirt cheap. There's also... I got two of these. There's also a six-pack on Amazon that I, I didn't even realize that they did that. And I think it's this series. That's why I ha I am bringing this out too to look at it. And I wanted to open up these. Okay, and I got two of these in white. What is with the me buying weird duplicates? I think I bought every one from Treasure Hunt because they were probably less than a dollar each. And that's an amazing price for these. So then I got a cab, a single one of those, a single one of these. And then another one of these white ones, which I think I showed already. What does it say on the back of these? It says that they were from 2020. Yeah, and I am remembering now that I do have a whole other box of movable parts. I don't know why these ones are segregated. Maybe next week. I do have to look at, oh yeah, I have to look at my collections that I have. And maybe I will focus on that next week. We'll, uh, we'll dive into... I'll bring out the boxes and organize them, and also I have them in plastic bins, and maybe I should transfer them into uh, these um, Mattel Hot Wheels boxes, because they, um, I like to use my plastic bins for toys that I'm actually looking for, so I know that I can see it, and the, anyway... <laughs> I got to organize them and uh, take inventory of what's going on here and focus on opening up some of the series and maybe not taking a break from buying anymore, especially because it is so hard to collect uh, Matchbox and Hot Wheels right now because they just aren't showing up here in Canada. And maybe I just will buy them from my grocery store because maybe that's the only store I'm allowed to visit. But I am considering buying that pack from Amazon because it's a great price and I love collecting the movable parts ones. But I haven't even opened up any of the movable parts one anyway. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. That's, um, that's the condition of the collection of this week. We'll see you next time. Is this really all of the Matchbox that I bought? And then I didn't even, I was going to buy this again because I thought it was so cool. I didn't even realize that I bought it. There's also a UPS truck in the series before because I saw it and I really wanted it, but I wasn't sure if I had it or not. And I was kind of was sure but I had some retro cars already. I was thinking I had this one. These are all banged up, by the way. I bought them anyway. I don't know why, because I was just so excited to see a new Matchbox K series. I really wish I collected every single Matchbox, though. That's probably what I should do. Stop buying Hot Wheels. No, I collect Matchbox for the realism. And I collect Hot Wheels for the fun. And I have to start, I do have to be more specific. I didn't have to get this whole series. Because I don't love that toaster car, even though it's fun and cute. And I don't love that cupcake car. I do love this food truck, though. Wait, is that a treasure hunt? No. Um, these, these, I cannot believe how much I love them. And I actually have two, like, wrench cars 
that are in exactly the same color and they're exactly translucent and they're going to go so well with these sweet rides these dessert drifters yeah I'm, I'm questioning everything this is a must this is a must because i'm even questioning my el segundo choice again maybe i will maybe i'm gonna return some of these Oh, can't can't return the ones from the Dollarama. They don't take returns. Uh, I really do like this one too, but maybe I could have gone without it. These three, I couldn't have gone without these these three. Wouldn't this be fun to open? I love this army. So this is I had to buy this. It's very rare that I love every car in a five pack and you know what i don't really like this guy but you would think i would because the dune buggy gp anyway 